game. So 40 and 9, 10 seconds remaining here. You hear the chants in the crowd right there. Colorado State fans now under fire for their behavior at last night's game against Utah State. Their fan section repeatedly chanted Russia at a Ukrainian Utah State player. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser spoke to a Ukrainian former Utah State athlete on how this behavior is bigger than sports. Athletes are used to rival fan sections trying to get in their heads during games, but Ukrainians tell me this time Colorado State fans crossed a line. So 40 and 9, 10 seconds remaining here. As Shulga goes to the free throw line. Colorado State's fans' intentions to make Max Shulga miss a free throw worked, but at what cost? It is not just something you can say during the game for a Pullman because it's it's just way bigger than the game. The rival school's fan section chanted Russia at the Utah State player who is from Ukraine. Christina Frank, a former Utah State volleyball player, is also Ukrainian. She says this behavior is ignorant. Especially Malik, I know, especially with his family being in Kiev, how hard it is for him. And saying something like that is not just affects the game, but it really affects your life. The one year anniversary of Russia invading Ukraine is coming up and Yevgen Kovalov with the Utah Ukrainian Association says the fear hasn't gone away. It's just too painful and it's very inappropriate to say the least. Colorado State tweeted an apology to Shulga saying the behavior was a violation of our steadfast belief in sportsmanship. Shulga released a statement writing that this has been an extremely difficult and challenging year with his family living in constant danger. He went on to say that the chants were extremely upsetting in the moment, but that he accepts and appreciates the apology. Ukrainians are asking you to be aware of what's happening overseas and know that kindness goes a long way. Ukrainians, they, they come through very difficult times and it's very emotional and they're very sensitive and, and being in a different uh, country, it's, it adds to that, you know, so uh, just be kind. Utah State and its athletics department also released a statement calling Saturday night's behavior inappropriate and unacceptable. The university says it appreciates the Colorado State Administration and basketball staff for not condoning such behavior. In the studio, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.